Hey guys, what's going on? It's Kevin Lee. So today I'm in Japan and I have a special guest, Sifu Nate. Hey, what's up? So Sifu Nate and I will be comparing the difference in the kick between Savat and JKD. Mm -hmm. So make sure you guys stay tuned. All right, so, so today's goal will be comparing the different kicks in, in uh, JKD and Savat. And because mm -hmm. I know that in Savat or in JKD, there's influence from Savat. Mm, right. And what do, you, what do you think in terms of like the kicking style between those two, two different styles? I think it's very similar because Bruce Lee loved the way that uh, Savat boxed with their feet, right? Mm -hmm. So he w he liked the same kind of movement of the quickness of the steps mm -hmm. and the live footwork, right? Like you do a lot of movement side to side mm -hmm. and getting out of range and inside of range, right? Similar to boxing. Mm -hmm. So um, and also being the most direct stuff like Wing Chun, sim similar to that the G Tech, right, to the knee. Correct. That's like straight line shot, and they wouldn't chamber big, right? They would end up have a big chamber. Ah. It's a very small. Motion. Small right? motion. So more direct. Direct, yes. Basically. Straight to the point, basically. So okay. straight to the knee, straight to the nearest target, as they would call it, right? The longest weapon, nearest mm -hmm. target, which is the knee. Um, and we almost just tilt, right? Just tilting a bit like that. That's cool. And then stomping it just very quickly without um, having to do a lot of big chambering motion. It's more of a explosive, short range, like Wing Chun one inch That's punch. That's cool. Yeah. So in terms of footwork, because you, you, since you mentioned footwork, yeah. what type of footwork do you, do you practice in JKD to kind of help you to create more dynamic mm. range? Yeah, yeah. There's different ones, right? So when we're in, just if we're talking about regular footwork, you know, you have the one step, half step, mm -hmm. one step, half step backward, mm -hmm. step slide, right? Mm -hmm. And the step slide backward. Ah, it's very but when similar. we do kicks, uh -huh. right, you might want to do a lead, 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 lead lift and a slide oh, in, right? Oh, like that's... That. Right? Just like Boom. Savat too. Just like that, right? What do you call that? Sliding kick? Yeah, the slide okay. step kick or side okay. kick, right? And then the next one would be the most unique one, which is the, well, not unique, but in the sense that iconic one, which is the, the pendulum step, right? Okay. Yeah. Pendulum step going in. So ah. I replace my leg at the same time as my other foot goes up. So I start the motion actually from the lead foot, hmm. not from the back foot, right? So the lead foot already kind of moves forward directly then the back foot will just follow like that. That's cool. Right? Just so it's like almost this. like a replacement. Replacement, yeah. Replacement and you come back. Right, so you don't want to go one, two and come back. Uh -huh. Because it takes more time to do this kind Correct. of step up and, and side kick. Mm -hmm. But to move this foot first, direct to the target, and then this one replaces it. Bam, just like That's that. cool. Okay, yeah. so let's do a comparison. We'll start with the basic, and then we'll kind of see the similarities, and we're going to see if there's any difference between the two different styles. So we'll start with the first one, which is because in Savat, we don't have a, a front kick. Mm. We have a, what called the frontal chasse, uh. which is almost like a front kick, but we're pushing through the heel like, like so, uh, yeah. okay? So in, J in JKD, how do you do a front kick? So sometimes they do the similar thing, right? They could uh -huh. do the ball of the foot one, uh -huh. they do the whole foot, uh -huh. and then also we have the front snap kick, right? Oh. The front snap kick going to the, to the groin, mm -hmm. which is the, usually the fastest one, right? We just Correct. flick to the, to, the, to strike to the target and that, that mm -hmm. front kick, push kick, and the whole foot, which is the stomping kind of kick ah. to the body. Yeah. We'll call that, yeah. so in, in, in yeah. Savat, we'll call that frontal chasse, which frontal is chasse. you do almost do the same thing, but you mm. push with the heel forward. Uh, yeah. Very different, very, very similar. Different, yeah. very similar. Yeah. But we'll also yeah. do that to the leg as well. To the leg, yeah. Can you do that with the ball to the foot? Yeah, so the ball to the foot one is kind of more that front push, yeah, with the you ball push to the back. foot. Yeah, yeah, push back to the heel, boom. Oh, right nice. Now, right? And. And the stomp kick is a little bit more like a Spartan kick, right? Like mm -hmm. you whole foot push off the guy. Nice. Like that, right? Um, would you use that with the footwork? Yeah, so the footwork would be the same almost. So I could do the pendulum step, boom, into the kick. Oh, right? nice. Bam, like this, right? So if I'm going to the grind, boom, boom. just to the quick snap kick to the, to the grind. You could go right up to the ball of the foot and push like that. Uh huh. Right? Or that stomp kick, same thing. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. It's very similar. Yeah. Now, what about round kick? Round kick, yeah. So now take us the round kick. The similar thing is like in the Junfan syllabus too, they lift very lightly and they snap it as quick as they can. So almost you direct to the target. Almost pick your foot straight up and you just rotate it? Straight up and snap, just like that. Right? What part of foot do you make contact? I so yeah, the interesting part is like more <laughs> nowadays, uh -huh. we use the instep. Ah, okay. Right, in the instep, right? But traditionally, like we're in shoes right now, uh -huh. we would use, you know, the point of the shoe, right? Nice. If you've seen some pictures of Bruce Lee, uh -huh. you see him using the, the point of the shoe, the tip like that, going to the ribs. Just right? like Savat. Boom. Yeah. But yeah, a lot of times now we go to the, to so the, the leg, leg. we use the, uh, the flat or the instep mm -hmm. to strike, yeah. What about the rear leg? 
the rear leg also can be a stomping motion from the I'm back. I'm sorry, um, oh. in terms of round kick. Oh, move, yeah, round kick movement. Round, yeah, round oh, yeah, kick yeah. movement. So round kick movement, it's going to be more similar to a tie kick, actually. Ah. They use more power with the, with the back leg. This yeah. is what exactly what Guru said, because Guru says yeah. the front kick will be more like Savat, the real leg is my Muay Thai. Yeah, yes. That's really cool. Yeah. So in terms of Savat, what we do, we'll call this uh, Foite, which is like a round kick. Yeah. The first thing we'll do is usually we'll step off angle. Mm. So we teach typically we'll turn when the hip and knee turns like that. And when we pick out the foot, we want the hip and the knee almost in the same line. Mm -hmm. Then the toe will just kind of dig either in front, in front of the elbow or behind the elbow, mm -hmm. which is very specific. Because let's say if your hand covers like this, yeah. I want to kick right between here. So my toe will actually turn in like this, almost like Wing Chun stance. Mm. So by the time when I step, say look, my toe is oh, pointing directly to the line. Yeah. If I want to kick to the rear side, we usually go like that. And the yeah. same thing, this happens, Boom. just go like that. Yeah, yeah. So that's what we call Fuete, oh. which is like the round kick. Wow. Yeah, similar, similar, right? Yeah. 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 And we'll I like the angle toes. stepping. The <laughs> angle <laughs> stepping is really clever. Yeah. It's 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 like I think since the vibes are built in, because when we yeah. we're sparring, we usually yeah. move like that and then just go straight and go straight in. in, yeah. straight in. Yeah, and yeah. we we'll typically either go behind the elbow or yeah. in front of the elbow. Uh, so the line alignment we should sometimes will go like that. And then just hit the hit behind, behind the, the elbow. elbow. Yeah. And that was called the, the kidney shot with the toes. Mm, wow. So that's a round kick. So yeah. similar. Now yeah. we mentioned that with the footwork, you kinda yeah. did something like a sliding footwork with a round kick, or that's yeah. just a mostly to a side kick? Yeah, so sometimes we don't even move at all, right? There's uh -huh. a point where they are coming to us uh -huh. and we just intercept right ah, away. Ah. So sometimes I don't even have to move, I see them come into attack, bam, I'm already that's there. That's cool. Right? So almost like a stomping. Then I don't have to move anything. Then no uh -huh. part has to move except for the weapon itself. That's so cool. the, the lead weapon will just fire it right when I see you move in, boom, I'm already there, right? Nice. Then I don't have to move anything else. But if I need that's more like a defensive yeah. weapon, right? If okay. I need to close a little bit more distance, then uh -huh. I would probably slide step, right? Nice. Just do this kind of like pick up and slide. But instead of in two motions, everything has to happen once in one motion. I'm smiling right? because it looks so much alike uh, compared to the Sava kick. Yeah. Because Sava, we call this, it's so much the same thing, sliding forward. This time more longer, but I guess it depends on the range. Some people will teach mm. the chamber all the way, and you really want that emphasis of this type of motion uh, but yeah. where my professor taught me it's this is better oh, for really? fighting it's just quicker, quicker more linear yeah. more direct versus yeah. this is a lot quicker. of swinging swinging motion, swinging motion which can cause a waste of time yeah right exactly yeah. that's cool so when you strike what part mm. of the foot do you hit i'm aiming kind of mid back of the heel here so usually they say hit, hit the heel uh -huh. i'm kind of mostly stomping right right directly where my ankle bone is going to be oh, just right there the so. blade or the bottom bottom of the foot for me so okay. full, full full foot is going to go on it not blade ah. that's more like i should train karate before and then i did this type of kick uh -huh. and it was kind of a habit of mine to do, do this. It like a bladed yeah to a bladed <laughs> style um but yeah eventually i started to you know find that the stomp kick is good I and agree. also when you hit certain things it's just a little bit more meaty with the I contact. Agree. I agree yeah. with that. That's cool. Yeah. Side kick. So you also yeah. use that as, as a distance yeah. in range finder as well. Yeah. Because in which we're gonna kind of get into in a second, which is combination in a, in a, in a way that we we use uh, mm. chasse with a side kick. Sometimes we use that as a finisher. Mm -hmm. So let's say if I do a kick and kick, if you come forward, we'll just tap oh, you like yeah. that. So we'll do a couple of different kicks. At the yeah. very end, we'll just kind of go down, tap the leg, and we'll just bring it back. Bring it back. The reason why is because let's say I finish a kick, you step in. Now I can stomp you for a second and then replace and myself. Replace it. Yeah. yeah, so it yeah. stops you from coming forward to hit me. Right, so I can't move in again. Yeah. yeah. All right, combinations. Yeah. Can you show me some combinations in terms of the kicks? Yeah, so. A lot of the things we do in JKD is like low high kind of stuff, oh, right? Okay. So or high low, you know, either one, right? So I might maybe, maybe I do a front snap kick uh -huh. a few times or a front push kick, and that people get used to seeing that. Mm -hmm. Then it goes down nice. to a side kick like that. So they think it's gonna go up high because everyone else does it like a boom, like, like a this, high right? kick. Yeah, like the question mark kick one two. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we can make it look like it's going high, but it goes to the knee instead. That's cool. Yeah. That's a really nice trick. Yeah. So your bases go high and you go low. Yeah. Yeah. Way. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. What, what do you what, do? You have anything reverse that, like a low to high? Yeah. So we have a high to low. Could high be, to low. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. High to low could be a front and then down to the nice. knee. Nice. Right. So I'm gonna go, or I can go round kick, side kick this way. It's yeah. so similar to like Savat yeah. in a way. Yeah. Because the one of my favorite combination, which you'll see in uh, the Spartan view with me and Jeff, is mm. I'll come around this way, almost like an inverted kick. So I'll go like that. Um, yeah. But all of a sudden I'll change to 
to this low side. kick. Yeah. Or in some case, because Jeff was lead foot forward, he was left side forward. So oh, when yeah. you switch lead, I was like this, and I tap his foot and side kick that leg. This one. So that yeah. he won't be able to come in closer. But it's still cases that he's so busted, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he still yeah. came into the center. Yeah. Which is my, one of my favorite combination, which is you go high and you go low and this go way, low. or you mm. go high and then you go low straight to, to the, the body. body. Yeah. Main action your body with that chassis. Yeah, yeah. What about now techs? Your round yeah. kicks. The round kicks. Application um, combination similar to the yeah to the um, to the uh, front kick to the round. You could do the both oh, nice. of those, right? So. I looked like I'm going to the groin. Mm -hmm. They might bring their hand down a bit, right? Mm -hmm. And then when they bring their hand down, I go up oh, to the head. Oh, nice. Or boom, boom to the body, to the same thing. So whatever is open, really. So I'm looking for reactions, right? Mm -hmm. In Jikido, we're looking for them to react. Mm -hmm. So it's like a progressive indirect attack, as we call it. PIA, Correct. progressive indirect attack. Uh, when they react to the front, then it goes high, right? Nice. If they start to react high, then I go to the body instead. Nice. Right? So, so you basically try to create an opening. Opening, yeah. So create an strike. opening with my combination. And mm -hmm. I might commit or I might half commit to the attack. attack. Mm. That's why it's kind of progressive, progressive indirect. It's not technically a full motion. Then it would be a type of combination. If we type oh, a combination, we're doing the full, full, full movement. Type of motion. Full, yeah. mm. But we go PIA, it's kind of like a half faint motion. Uh -huh. And then the rest of it goes to a different direction. So you change angles mid swing nice. or mid movement. Yeah. Huh. What's yeah. your concept when, you, when you're sparring or you do combats with your kicks? Yeah. Do you have a core concept that you try to teach or you follow a very specific like uh, combination that you, you feel like do, do well for you? Um, yeah, so when it comes to the sparring, it's kind of do like a tagging kind of game. Okay. Um, and it's about timing, right? So mm -hmm. timing and distance is the biggest key for sparring. Correct. So after we learn the, the how to move, how to move, how to punch, how to kick, mm -hmm. then they need to kind of drill, okay, I have to feel the timing. Um, in the old IMB days, they would use the drums or the bongos. The drum yeah. kinds, yeah. And they would get people to, you know, feel the rhythm. The rhythm. Yeah. 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 So it's all about that rhythm, finding the timing and learning how to break the timing, right? Yeah, break the cool. rhythm. So um, they might do drills that they're going to tag the shoulder or the knee or, uh -huh. the, or the thigh, right? Ah, and that's they, cool. Yeah. And then when they attack, you know, uh -huh. I'm going to try to find a time when you move and they need to react. So you they need to react of, from uh -huh. when, yeah, once this person attacks, they're gonna try to hit with the, the leg. It could be also, of course, with a, with a punch, right? Nice. So I might pak right? Or pak and side kick, or mm. opposite hand pak side kick. But opposite hand pak side kick, I can still follow up mm. after, or I can still follow up on this hand too, right? That's cool. So that's what you see in JKD, a lot of the kick will follow up to a, a straight lead afterward. So after I kick, I would land, mm. bam, bam, this way, right? Okay. Pop, pop. Right so you kind of almost use a leg to kind of stop my motion from coming Stop the forward. motion first, yeah. Okay. Call the most intercept uh -huh. and then land the punch. Okay, yeah. and they can intercept, follow through your ABCs right. from there. Yes, yes. That's exactly. cool. That's a really cool concept. Mm -hmm. Now, what about angling? Yeah, so angling, we would, there's a lot of direct stuff with JKD, yeah. but sometimes we do angle. For like for 45 step this way, mm -hmm. we'll you know, make a slight angle to the outside, mm -hmm. and then I could hit or oh. kick from this way, right? That's cool. Or I might uh, angle step out and side kick, or uh -huh. angle step out and use a rear kick. That's cool. Right? So most of the angular stepping is I'm thinking you're gonna come forward uh -huh. so that I have to make myself nice outside. And uh -huh. in the savat, and similar to the savat ones, they do move out this way as Correct. well. Correct. Right? So sometimes if I see the rear hand coming, I'll go to that side. But nice. if I see the lead hand coming, I usually go into this side. Like a like right? a cross thumb kick type yeah, of thing. Cross thumb kick. Nice. Yeah. So we're you're we're working on that kind of footwork. That's Just cool. the forty five angle footwork. Uh huh. Side to side. So there's one combination I think that's so iconic in both JKD and Savat, yeah. which I probably I'm a, I, I'm I'm hundred percent sure that you saw this before. So mm. if I switch my lead, it's usually this to this. Oh yes, yes. The oblique kick to the inside inside leg kick, mm. right? Do you do that too? Yeah, we do. Um, and you actually see in the way of the dragon, right? Yeah. He does this Boom, a and few he times. Kicks the head. Well, yeah, he kicks him three times yeah. here. And then he like wham bam, bam, bam right? Yes. Into the head, yeah. Because that's yeah. a very iconic that I see yeah. in both JKD and Savat. Because yeah. in Savat, this is what called the uh, coup de pit. Well, yeah. could be bas, depending on the level, so uh, angle. Mm. Bas just means like low angle shot. Mm. I can do the same thing to the body, mm. but coup de pit, you typically we hit low to your shin, and mm. that will be the blade of his shoes that goes in directly to his mm. shin, and then will kick like that. Kick. But uh -huh. the only downside, would, not I wouldn't say downside. The only thing with Savat kick is. At the point of impact, yeah. my leg has to be straight, cannot be bent. 
So by the time when I kick you, it goes like this. It doesn't count. Mm, I see. Because we're, we're trying to control the distance. Yeah. So when I kick, this has to be straight. This has to be straight. Be straight. It has to be straight. Ah. Because it's a distance management. And sometimes I'll, I'll, I was taught by my professor saying that we have to have a proper distance management and mm. a proper dis, uh, finisher to create certain range. Mm. So if you're trying to try and come forward after the kick, I will stomp. Stop, Almost yeah. like very similar to JKD, it will say, kind of stop some motion to check. Right. And then check now I know I'm safe. Mm. Or I'll do this, now you can't punch me. Right, yeah. Because even when I now tag you like that, yeah. I'm far. far Versus yeah. if I bend my knee, right, now, now I yeah. I'm within it's the same like range. It's kind of like the Muay Thai shin kick, right? Now they can still punch. Some people just eat the, the, eat the, the shin shot kick. And yeah, punch eat you. the shin kick and then keep punching, right? Because they're still in range. But if Correct. you're out there, it's like hard. this, it's hard to I can't yeah. touch you anymore. Yeah. Especially when you, you fight yeah. a jack cross and then just kind of move Boom. my body yeah, to a solo I plexus. Can't, yeah, I can't, is, I can't touch you. It's very yeah. similar. Yeah. That's cool. Well, yeah. I hope you guys learned a lot today because I, I do see a lot of similarities mm. uh, between JKD and Savat. And I do believe that Bruce Lee took a lot of uh, the backgrounds, you know, the, the training from Savat to yes, JKD, right? Definitely. Yeah, he loved, like I said, the way it boxed, the way the footwork was going, leg boxing too, mm -hmm. angling off, and much more direct than just like the bigger swinging kicks, which had a lot of power, mm -hmm. but took a lot of time, right, to yeah. get there. So these were much faster, keep you at the distance, That's cool. and, me and really good with distance management and interception. That's yes. awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. And if you guys have any questions, please leave in the comment in the section below, and also leave seafoodness information in the description box. Okay, thank you guys. I'll see you guys next week.